Greetings, everyone. I am Pokemon Trainer Magma743, back with more Let's Play Pokemon Red version. In the last part, we got our seventh gym badge here on Cinnabar Island. And... In this part, we are going to be taking care of a lot of things today. Oh, I have to do this all one by one. Alright, first of all. We're doing some inventory maintenance real quick. Alright, Fire Blast, we don't need you. Secret Key, we don't need you. Uh, Solar Beam, don't need you. Red Candy, don't need you. 14, don't need you. I think you're Blizzard. Glenstone, don't need you. And that'll be it. And I want to withdraw... I don't think any item in particular. Yeah, no. Um, so let's see here. We're going to inventory management. Are we doing this slowly? One by one. I don't know why my bike hasn't been at the top of the list anyway. Uh, you. Okay. So, uh, what I need to start things off, and what you need is a Pokemon that can learn Surf, and a Pokemon that has Strength. Um, I think I'm going to put Puncture away for this first part, just cause he's who I picked. I think Snorlax knows Strength? Yeah, okay. So we're bringing Snorlax with us. Well, fun fact, he can also learn Surf if you need him to. And we're going to... I always forget this because I almost never do this. I believe you actually want to come from Fuchsia City. I believe that is the preferred route. It is not. Well, it might be. We'll see. I do this every once in a while. So forgive me if I forget. Here we are on the Seafoam Islands, though. I, I'm not going to explore this to its fullest because I don't really want to. <laughs> if I'm honest. I pretty much get what I'm coming for and then get out. Oh no, we're in the right spot. Alrighty, so you're gonna wanna make your way over here. Wait, to these uh, strength boulders. We got a bit of what's known as a strength puzzle here. Thick Cadillac, Cadillac. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna leave that one there. Come around and do this one first. I'm gonna knock that down. There we go, and we'll be automatically put into surf status, heading north, and we are have reached our destination. So I fully, fully recommend that you save. I have no fears that this recording will fail, and I hope that's not jinxing it. <laughs> so we are going to have a Thoron out front for this.
Say hello to one of the three legends of the Kanto region. One of the legendary birds, Articuno itself, is level 50 ice flying type. It is a legendary Pokemon and not something to be taken lightly. It's very weak to rock, weak to electric, weak to fire. I wanted to start off with Thorn to make sure I paralyze it. If it faints or it KOs you, that's it. That is your only chance in future games. Beating the game would reset this. However, we are not playing one of those games. And that was what I was afraid of. So missing the Pokemon is just something that's possible. Let's go for Swift. Perfect. this now. Oh, cool. <laughs> I forgot this like a 50-50 shot. It either misses or you catch it. <laughs> yeah, Articuno, the freeze Pokemon, a legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear to doomed people who are lost in icy mountains. Yeah. That is uh, the secret to the Seafoam Islands. Let's uh, heal desperately. <laughs> and say goodbye to Snorlax. But we do need Oddish now. to Cerulean City, and so we're going to be obviously heading back to where we caught Thoron. So let's get on over there. Honestly, this route, or sorry, this episode is going by a lot faster than I thought it would, because... And I'll talk about this now, just in case what we're doing next just doesn't take that long. I have a massive gripe with one of the main mechanics of Pokemon. I've had it for years, and it's... And I apologize for the strong language. So, you know, I try to keep the series family-appropriate for the most part. But I hate the catching mechanics. There is very little to no skill in it. What you do, because it's based on an algorithm, a very complicated algorithm that I can't even, like, pronounce, like, the, the symbols they use. And basically, it, all you can really do is lower the Pokemon's HP, inflict it with a status effect like paralysis or sleep, and then just mash A on Pokeballs with the best probability, and that's it. It can take hours to catch a legendary Pokemon, due to no fault of your own, just because the game does not agree with you. It is annoying. It is not fair. And there's just no skill in it. And that's why I wish Pokemon in a future game, perhaps in Legends or Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, which, it's not gonna happen in those games, but I, I, I will wish that you get trainer experience for like beating gyms, you can allocate um, certain things to your trainer, like, like a Charisma stat, for example, that will make it easier at catching Pokémon. Anyway, here we are in the power plant. Level 40? Wow, that's strong. There are items everywhere, but some of them are Pokéballs. Like this one, I believe. Oh no, it's Kim 33. Reflects. That is a psychic type move that 
raises your physical defense for your entire party for five turns. In future games, it can be destroyed with Brick Break. I believe this is an ult. Uh, yeah. Um, and there's also the special defense variant, which is Light Screen. This is also a Voltorb, I believe. These can also be Electrodes. Oh, oh actually it wasn't. This is TM25, which is Thunder, which is the other move I was referring to that you could argue is the best electric type move. I think Thunderbolt is better. It's like the Blizzard and Fire Blast of of uh, electric type moves. It has 100% accuracy if Rain Dance is used though, which does not exist in this generation. And it's not like um, Thunderbolt is a weak move in its own right. Ooh, HP up. Nice. I'll be shocked if this isn't a win. Wow! I don't usually go after the items in here because of the electrodes. I just know which one's Thunder and then I call it a day. Oh, did I miss all of those? Oops. Yeah, I really strongly, strongly dislike the catching mechanics. Oh, I guess not. I just think there's no skillful way to really do anything about it, and it's just kind of frustrating. Alright. Oh, hey, there's the electrode. I guess I did miss that room, but I'll, I'll go in there. Don't worry. Because here we have another one. Say hello to the second in command of the Kanto Legendary Bird Trio, Zapdos. Level 50, flying electric type. One of the fastest Pokemon available to you. Weak to rock, weak to ice, and I think that's about it. Um, before Generation 6, Electric type Pokemon could still be par paralyzed by paralysis moves and contact and everything, so that's why I'm opening up with it. Um, Zapdos is. Ironically, not my favorite of the three. I I just I don't have any opinions about it one way or the other. It's alright. It's my favorite of the three Galarian versions. That's for sure. Oh, hey, nice. Well, that went a lot faster than I expected. Zapdos, the electric Pokemon, a legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear from clouds while dropping enormous lightning bolts. And actually, no, I was wrong. I really like uh, Galarian Articuno. Articuno is my favorite of the, the Galarian three. Anyway, that is an alternate exit if you want to take it. However, there is that one room I skipped. Honestly, this episode could have taken an hour. That's how bad the catching mechanics are. So, let's see here. You're not an item. You're an item. Oh, no. An electrode, though. There we go. Max elixir, okay. So it was worthwhile coming in here. But yeah, that's pretty much all I really wanted to get done in this episode. I wanted to make it its own episode because of the potential of the catching mechanics making this take forever. And if you notice the thumbnail, and for some reason don't know much about Pokemon, especially like the first generation for whatever reason, I I'm trying to be a little mysterious, but it's not worthwhile. Um, 
there, and, and I've I mentioned that Zapdos and Articuno are a part of a trio. That third Pokemon is not available to us right now. So it will remain elusive for the time being. But yeah, that's going to be it for me in this part. Next time on Pokemon Red Version, we are going to take on the Viridian City Pokemon Gym Leader, whoever that may be. And get our, hopefully, 8th and final Gym Badge. So have a great night, everyone, and I'll see you next week. Have a good one.